I think it's obvious that uh, we are transitioning from the way we harness like energy. Um, we see that it's clear in investments, for instance, like investing, spending, investment is happening in renewable energy. I think solar power will play an important role. So I don't think there's a, a, a unique solution. I mean, we will need solar energy, we will need wind energy, we will need geothermal energy. And the more we deplete this or deploy these technologies, uh, we will need storage. And I think this is where Azaleo comes into play, because uh, most of the technologies deployed with storage are the larger scale. And Azaleo has a uniqueness that is more uh, a distributed local scale. So there is a niche where Zaleo could add a lot of value. My name is Rafael Guedes. I'm 29 years old, mechanical engineer from Venezuela, and I have a PhD in solar energy and storage. And I work as an advisor for technology and strategy at Azaleo, as well as a researcher at the Royal Institute of Technology. Azaleo will have a, an important role in the sense that today, most of the sites that actually have or require such a base load power have a diesel genset, and diesel gensets, it's obvious that they are not, well, climate friendly. But on top of that, they are not either uh, cost effective. I mean, they're, they're not cheap. So like, I think a solar solution would be like an obvious solution to go for, for people that are actually harvesting diesel gensets for base load power, because it will be both cheaper and more environmental friendly. From my point of view, uh, a silly solution come into play when we consider only by looking at the demand profiles, right? Um, solar energy happens at times where, like, of course, when there's the sun. But if we look at our typical demand profiles, we see how the typical consumption peaks actually at evenings or hours where we don't have the sun. There are a number of storage technologies that can actually then basically compensate for this mismatch. And Azalea is one of them. And I think compared, for instance, to batteries, which is another distributed solution, Batteries will have a role in the market. They are lowering the price, uh, reducing the capital costs considerably. But the role, as we see it so far, is more for the shorter duration of uh, storage when hybridized with photovoltaics, for instance. Whereas like, for those customers or solutions that actually require longer duration of distributed storage with solar, I believe that's where there is a niche and Acelio is seeking for it and up for the challenge. Academia serves an important role in companies as innovative as Azaleo uh, in a different ways, both supporting the technology development, so all the test phases. And I think that's something that KTH, or my institute, has helped a lot. Like since the very beginning, even before, with the legacy product of Azaleo, and looking at stealing engines combined with dish systems, providing solutions for receiver design and so on, is something that we have worked together. And it gives also some sort of um, basically like a stamp on it as well. I mean, this is not something developed only in-house. We are, as Zalio, it's uh, uh, externally consulting also non-biased experts in trying to develop the best product as possible.